Hello, people. Last week, I bought this sofa uh, from this company. You'll see the the name of the company in the, in the video. But right now, I just wanted to post how this sofa looks. And honestly, I do not like it. I'm going to tell you why. First of all, these pillows. The company advertised that the pillows, I believe, is foam. But pillows are not foam. And I'm going to tell you, I'm about to show you in just a minute. I want to get you guys a better picture, a better view of this sofa. I tried to fluff the pillows out as much as I could. But as you can see, these pillows have wrinkles in them. Especially the pillows that, that your back rests on. They have wrinkles in them. And... I'm about to show you why these pillows have wrinkles on them. I need to put my phone down because I don't have a tripod. So just hang on for a second. I'm about to open one of these pillows and let you see exactly what's in them. I'm trying to post this, show this video the best way I can. Um, well, you can't open these pillows. But these pillows, I mean, well, here, here we go. First of all, look at the look at the zipper. The zipper is missing the attachment that allows you to pull it. So what you have to do is you have to pinch the zipper and open it. Open the zipper all the way around. And you guys are about to see the inside of this. Okay, well, this one is foam. It's foam, but it has what feels like metal springs in it, which tells me that this pillow may not be solid foam. It need, they somehow they put springs in here to help the, the seat fluff back out so why does these seats have metal springs in them knowing that metal is not good for the body and what is this material here this is very synthetic so i'm gonna zip this back up the best way i can because the little pull thing to the zipper is not there which tells me they purposely Removed them so that people wouldn't open them. And you see, I have to use my fingernail to close the zipper. And I have to try to pull my fingernail back out. This is for the seat. And when you lift the pillows, this is what you get. Nothing but metal. This is not good for supporting the body. Okay. Now, let's take a look at the pillow that your back rests on. I'm about to open one of these or another thing. Behind the pillows, it has Velcro. What is this? It has Velcro on the pillows. And when you remove one of the pillows, this is what you see. All you get is a metal frame and I tighten the screws and this is what I hear. What is that? Screws are tight. The screws are tight. Now, I'm going to open one of these pillows for the back. And I'm going to show you guys what is in the pillow. Once again, look at the zipper. The zipper. I'm going to get a picture of the zipper so I can send it back to the seller. Let me open this back again so I get a good picture of the zipper. Okay. All right. 
I'm gonna use my other hand while I'm holding the phone to open the zipper. As you can see, I have to use my finger to push the zipper open because the zipper does not have the little pull thing to pull the zipper. You have to pull the zipper open, not push it open. And as you can see, what is this? This is not foam. This is a whole bunch of synthetic mess that is in the pillow, okay? As you can see, I'm not making this up. I did not put this in here. This was sent by the seller. This is some type of mess. Now, I'm gonna get this pillow out so you guys can see. Wait a minute, I don't, I don't want you to show in the video, hang on. I don't want us to, I don't want us to show in the video because the video is not about us, it's about the product. Sorry about that, hang on a second. Hang on guys, let me get this, let me get this uh, synthetic fabric out of the pillow. Hang on a second. All right, that fell on the ground when I took the pillow out. So, I wanna ask you guys, what is this? What is this? This is not foam. I don't even know what this is. This is a whole bunch of synthetic mess in the pillow right here. A whole bunch of cut up. This tells me that this is some um, stuff that was cut that should have been thrown away, but this is they decided to keep it as a way to make more pillows, which means this is a byproduct of cut material. Now, look at this pillow. Look at this mess. It's not a pillow, it's mess. Look at this. This hole was already here. I did not do this, okay? I'm gonna flip it around. There's another hole, okay? I just want you guys to see this. And what they did was they cut it, filled it up, and they threaded it up. They threaded it. This is very unprofessional, okay? These pillows do not look like what's in the advertisement. I call it false advertisement, okay? So I want you guys to see this pillow here has the same fabric in it. I'm going to show you. Here's the Velcro taking it apart. Okay. Now, I'm going to also open this pillow. And once again, as you can see, you got a half a zipper. Half a zipper. I have to use my finger to push the zipper, not pull it, I have to push it. I push the zipper open like this. You gotta excuse me because I'm using two hands for this because I don't have a tripod. I'm gonna open this pillow. I'm still pushing the zipper open, okay? Now, this is what you see when you open the pillow. You see a whole bunch of synthetic mess. This is what you get. Now, I'm gonna take this cushion out. See, there's a hole. This is my first time opening this pillow, but I just knew that this pillow also had synthetic mess in it. So I just want you guys to see what you're getting. Look at this. Look at this. This other, I don't know what this cushion here is. It comes out with the pillow. It comes out with the pillow, okay? This is not foam. This is a, a bunch of mess in a wrinkled up fabric. They call in a pillow. Now, what is this? What is this? This stuff is still coming out. See? This is very unhealthy. And on top of that, you have a metal frame. Now, excuse me. when I go to the back of this, I want y'all to see what's on the back of this uh, sofa. Okay. 
there's like a cover that came with the sofa. Now, if you lift it up, this doesn't stick to anything. There's no Velcro. But when you lift it up, all you get is metal. It's a metal frame. And the screw is supposed to be tight. Okay? All you get is a metal frame. And this is not even a sofa bed. All you get is a metal frame. So, just imagine. Just imagine if. Just imagine if you take the pillows away from the back. You take the pillows away from the back. And you try to sit your back on that. See, that's hollow. All you get is a metal frame. You lift this up. Well, I really can't because I got it on there. But here's the corner of it. Metal. Metal. All nothing but metal. A sofa is still supposed to be at least 50% comfortable if you remove the pillows from where your back sits. This is not the case with this. I didn't even put the love seat together because the first thing I did when I put the sofa together, I said, let me, let me just look at the sofa. I said, no, I don't like the sofa. I'm not going to put the love seat together. I'm going to send it. I'm going to send all this back. Now, I want, I want you guys to see the ottoman that I put together. I put the ottoman together first. Okay. Now, here's, here's the ottoman. Here's the ottoman right here, okay? Now, the ottoman also has Velcro on it to keep it together. Here's a little handle where you can lift the sofa up. And I guess you could put stuff in it, but the sofa doesn't have a hinge. It doesn't have a hinge. You just lift it up like that. And inside of the ottoman, as you can see, it's still space between the board and the frame of the ottoman. So I put this ottoman together the best way I could. There's a picture of it. And it got legs on there, so. But I don't really like the ottoman, and I'm gonna show you why. Hang on just a moment. While I use my other hand to put the ottoman back on. First, when you put the ottoman on, you have to you have to find a way to fit it back on on the base here. And as you can see, if you look at the ottoman. You know, you can see it's not really fully closed. Another thing, the ottoman has Velcro on it that sticks on to this board. So the ottoman and the board is not one permanent piece. You have to detach the Velcro so that you can detach this pillow from the ottoman, like that. And all you get is the board. Okay, so let's see if we can open the pillow. Oh, shit. Let's see if we can open the pillow to the ottoman to see what kind of fabric is in it. And it's probably foam inside of here. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Wow, look at this, another bad zipper. I can't pull it to open it. I have to use my finger to push it open. I have to push the zipper. It's a push zipper, not a pull zipper. The only time you see these kind of zippers is if you have a jacket or a pair of pants and you have those items for so long to the point where the zipper has broken off. See now, the zipper don't got stuck because I can't pull it. And when you, you're not supposed to pull, push, you're not supposed to push a zipper open. 
zippers are not made for that. You're supposed to pull it this way, but there's it's not the pull attachment on the zipper, so I have to I have to keep trying to open it. It's not gonna like it's stuck, but if I keep trying to open it, I'm sure I'm gonna have a hard time closing it. So don't let me go too far opening the zipper. But as you can see, it has the foam in it. See, it has the foam in it. Oh, huh, I did not see this. Look guys, I see, I, I know this was not a full foam. It's just foam on the outer part going around it, see? But if you look closer, these are metal springs. Metal springs. This is not foam all the way through. This is not solid foam. This is just foam going around the edge. And on the inside, all you get is metal springs. No foam, no nothing. Just metal springs. More springs. So this is how they trick you to thinking that you're going to get what you see in the picture. Because what they do is to trick you, they put foam on the outside. But if you open it and don't open it fully, you won't see the springs. You got foam on the outside and spring on the inside. That's all you get. And they purposely break the zippers so that that would discourage the buyer from opening to examine the contents. So I'm going to send this back to the seller. And I want you guys to take another look at the sofa when I put it back together and compare it to the pictures on the advertisement and tell me what you guys think. Have a good day. Oh, hold on just a moment. Let me put the sofa back together and let y'all see the uh, how the sofa looks when it puts back together. Hang on just a moment.
this shit. That's crazy for you for the phone. This is this ain't this is not for no kid. This is for nobody. This is unhealthy. I would not buy my kids no shit like this. Like daddy, what are you doing? What is this? Look at this. When you shake it, you get a lot of synthetic. Cause every time you do this, those very tiny particles you can't see gonna come out. And you're breathing the stuff in. After a while, just like how those pillows get flat after a while, that's what gonna happen to these. They, they're not, they're just not pillow. They show you these nice queer pillows in the damn sofa. You don't get that. That's a lie. You sit in the sofa, you can't forget yourself comfortable. You hear metal cries. Tell you a damn lie. Oh, it's foam. Foam hell. This is cut up stuff. This is some cut up stuff from some other stuff they made. And they, they said, no, they're going to throw this away. We're going to use it. No. Crazy man, what the fuck are you trying to do? You're trying to poison people, man. That's what they doing. They're going around poisoning people. And the spike for the cut is it part because some people now when it's a chop, cause guess what? I listen to look on what on your nose. They say you spot clean it. Say so something dirty, take a wet stuff and it's wet spot out. So you can't take off the cover to wash it. They say to spot clean it. It's what cleans. Because they know you can't hope in it. Because they didn't make it for you to hope in it. <laughs> Nothing like what you see in the picture. Nothing. You see a nice sectional sofa in this in the in. And a sectional is something that you, you put in the middle of your house. This can put in the middle of your house. Uh -oh. You got to put it to the wall for the back not show. That's not a sectional. Uh -oh. I'm about to edit the video because the part that we start talking, I got to take that out before I send it. All right, guys. I want you all to see how this thing sound when I sit on it, okay? Same sofa, same sofa, sitting down. You hear that? And let's just say if I wanna just go to another seat on the sofa. I don't know if you can hear that, but I can. I, I lay my back on it, on the rest. You hear that? Okay. Then. It's not comfortable because when I'm sitting on the sofa, I am 180 pounds. Okay, six to 180 pounds. And when I'm sitting on the sofa, my butt can feel the metal frame. I can feel the springs in the pillows. So I just want you guys to know that. So when you guys get a chance, I want y'all to compare the pictures here and compare to the pictures in the advertisement and when i get up from the seat when i get up from the, i just got up from the sofa and you can see where i was sitting now how is that going to fluff out that confirms that it just metal springs in there if it was all foam you would not see that okay 
Okay. Now look at this. Still wrinkled. So if you sit on this sofa and you get up, yeah. you're going to see wrinkles. You're going to see exactly where you were sitting. Okay? That's evidence that somebody was sitting at a certain spot in the sofa, which is very funny, but not funny. Okay? Look at the pillows. I had to put the I had to put that synthetic stuff back in the pillows. These pillows do not look like the pillows on the advertisement. They don't. This is wrong. Okay? This is very wrong. Very wrong. And look at the roundness on the pillows. Look at this. What is that? It's very thin. What is that? This is thin. What is that? You mash it. It's what you get. It fluffs out, but you still see the evidence. Maybe I need to get an iron and iron this out. Have you guys ever heard of having to iron a sofa? I don't know. Do they make irons for sofas? Who knows? Let's go to the back while the pillows for the back is on the sofa. What is this? What is this? Huh? You get, you get this because you have nothing. My fingers, my fingers can touch each other because there's a hollow frame where your back rests, okay? I want you guys to see that. I don't know what that is. That might've been something that came out of the pillow when I opened it, uh, when I opened it. This is what you get. Now, if I had seen this exact setup, the way it looked now in the advertisement, I would not have made this purchase. And they know it. And they tell us to spot clean it, which means they don't want us to open it to clean it. They don't want us to open these uh, pillows to wash the fabric because they know if we do that we're going to see what's in it but i always check i don't have to clean anything to open it i always investigate that's what smart consumers do okay especially if you have to make payments on something i'm gonna let you guys see this sofa again let me zoom in so y'all can see the wrinkles okay a few minutes out of getting up, you can still see the dip. You see how? Let me show you guys. I don't know if you can see it. This side is higher than the middle. It's like if you can see my hand going down. So when you sit on this sofa, it will not fluff back out. I'm gonna let you guys be the judge. But I know one thing, a consumer is not happy today. Why? Because the consumer made a purchase and when the product came, it did not look exactly like it should look in the advertisement. The picture and the advertisement and this sofa it's clearly two different things. What's going to happen next? Have a good day.